It's not sometimes about how many acres burn, it's about where those fires are burning. From California's Palisades Fire in January to the Dragon Bravo Fire near the Grand Canyon this summer, 2025 has already brought costly and destructive wildfires, even as overall acreage burned remains well below normal. Luckily for the season, we're um, at about 71% of average in terms of acreage burn. So we're at about 4.66 million acres right now. The average, again, just over 6.5 million. The focus now shifts to what lies ahead. In California, the peak of the fire season runs through November. We'll always be keeping a very close eye out for that inherent risk of the Santa Ana and other offshore wind events out west, uh, you know, into the winter months. You know, we can still see those Santa Ana event sweeps into Southern California during a stretch of dry weather that can really just ramp up the risk. At the same time, drought is building east of the Mississippi River, where fallen leaves and backyard burn piles could become more dangerous fuels for fires that may spring up. These fires aren't typically as large as the ones we see out west, but there's more, I guess, structures and more infrastructure to potentially burn. Fire officials caution that until wetter systems move in, dangerous conditions may continue and the toughest part of the season could still be ahead. For AccuWeather, I'm meteorologist Tony Laubach.